So, after the Denver Broncos lost today to the Las Vegas Raiders, we just got an interesting report that came out, apparently before the game. According to Ian Rappaport and Tom Pelissero, indirectly reported from Mile High Report here, the Broncos are expected to retain George Payton for his fourth year as Denver Broncos GM. Despite all of his shortcomings and mishaps during his tenure as Broncos GM, from some bad draft picks to signing injury-prone free agents, to making the move to trade for Russell Wilson and extend his contract, the Broncos are going to move forward with George Pay or with George Payton as their GM in 2024. The Broncos head into the offseason with plenty of questions and a variety of pertinent conversations to be had, but sources tell Ian Rappaport and Tom Pelissero there shouldn't be a question about the status of GM George Payton. Payton is viewed as safe inside the organization. Based on his overall evaluation of talents and a strong working relationship with Sean Payton, that's a big one here, a strong working relationship with Sean Payton, all indications are that George will stay. All right, I think that line alone is very telling here. George Payton was always going to be at the mercy of Sean Payton, essentially. That was the case whenever the Broncos went out and hired Sean Payton and signed him to a multi-year contract. The Broncos' vision is for Sean Payton to be here for at least four years. And when Sean Payton was in New Orleans, he only worked with one general manager, and that was Mickey Loomis, who has been there since 2002 as their GM. So... If Sean Payton is going to be here long term, he's going to want his GM that he's going to be tied at the hip with long term. And it seems like since Sean Payton and George Payton have a strong working relationship, George is going to be the guy that Sean Payton ties his hip to during his tenure as Denver Broncos head coach. It seems like the Broncos are going to be ride or die with Sean or with George Payton as GM. Not going to lie, I'm a little bit surprised by that just because of some of the bad moves that sh that George Payton has made in terms of the draft picks. There have been some questionable draft moves. The one that is super egregious to me that I can think about just right off the top of my head is drafting Delarian Turner Yale one pick ahead of Tariq Woolen. I literally went and compiled a list not too long ago of all of the questionable moves that George Payton made as GM and all of the counter moves that he could have made that would have better benefited the Broncos organization. Then you look at some of his free agency signings from guys like Randy Gregory and Ronald Darby, who had completely blown their expectations in Denver and ended up dealing with injuries. Randy Gregory was shipped out of town for peanuts. Ronald Darby tore his ACL and then he was cut last offseason. The Broncos really just have made several questionable moves under George Payton. I have some questions as to why they are keeping him in the building, but hey man, that's just me. Clearly Sean Payton feels like he's going to move forward comfortably with George Payton as his GM. All right, Broncos country, I am curious about your thoughts on the Broncos' decision to retain George Payton as GM heading into 2024. Drop those comments down below, guys. I would love to hear your thoughts as always. Be sure to leave a like on this video as well as subscribe and ring the bell so these videos appear in your notification feed. And until next time, guys, I am your host, Gage Madrid, saying peace out.